Hey guys, so I was looking around online and I came across this cool RC car with a camera on it, but I looked at the price and it was way too expensive, so that's why today's project is making a cheap RC spy car. What you're going to need for this project is a mini screwdriver. Now these are the kind that are usually used for repairing glasses. You're also going to need a multi-tool or just a regular set of pliers will work. You're also going to need an RC car. I suggest using one that's a bit bigger than the one I used in the video so it can travel faster and the battery lasts longer. You're also going to need some electrical tape, a 9 volt battery, and a 2.4 gigahertz wireless camera. Links are in the description of where you can get the car and the camera. First step is to take your car and your screwdriver and undo all the screws on the car. Once you've undone all the screws, you can go ahead and take the top off and then set it aside for later. Next, take the camera and the screwdriver and start undoing the screws on the camera. Once you've gotten all of the screws out, you can remove this casing as well. Be careful not to damage any of the electronics. Next, take this lens cover and break off the outside. Be sure not to damage the lens while removing the sides. It should look like this when you're done. Next, take the power cable running off of the camera and clip it. Next, slide off the protective coating covering the wires and you'll be left with these three wires. A black one, a red one, and a white one. Take the red and white wires and twist them together. The red and white wires are the positive wires and the black one is negative. Next, take your lens and make sure to clean it off. Also clean off the camera and then put the lens over the camera and attach it with some electrical tape. Make sure the electrical tape does not block the lens or the microphone. Next take your battery connector and strip down the wires. So it looks like this. Next, take the red wire from the battery connector and twist it onto the red and white wires from the camera and twist the black wire to the black wire. And coat them with some electrical tape. It should look like this when you're done. You should have all your camera parts hooked up, so now it's time to attach it to the car. Take the still exposed circuit board and electrical tape it to the middle of the car. Once you've taped the circuit board down, you can go ahead and tape the camera down in place too. One last thing before we put the battery on, there are lights on the front and the back that go on whenever you press a button on the remote control. So if you want this to be a spy car, I suggest just taking the multi-tool and disconnecting them or a strip of electrical tape over the LEDs works just as well. The wire should be long enough to wrap around back, so just put the battery on right behind the camera and fix it with some electrical tape. The finished product should look something like this, with the camera on the front, the battery right behind it, the circuit board underneath the battery, and the battery clip being able to snap on the back. This is how you turn on the camera. Just simply snap on the battery clip and the camera is automatically on. To turn it on, just simply flip on the switch and connect the battery and you're good to go. To hook up the camera to a monitor, take the wires that were included in the box. The yellow one goes to yellow and the white goes to white. And same with the TV. Plug in the adapter and the power cord into the receiver and the TV should start feeding back. Turn the knob until it comes into focus and you're all set up. I found a cord that would allow me to plug directly into my laptop and record the direct video feed. Here's what I got.
As you can see, I need a little more practice with this, but that's okay. It worked pretty well considering the price of the camera. I'm Matt and decided to make a secret spy mini car. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.